Okay, so for the NCR online article, which is the one that was sent to me, somebody sent this to me and said, hey, you need to check this out immediately. So I opened up my email this morning and read this article. It says Pope Francis on February 21st reaffirmed uh, that the Vatican's worship office has been given full authority to limit the celebration of the pre-Vatican II Latin Mass and what may be seen as a major blow to some U.S. bishops seeking to circumvent the office's decision on the matter. So whether we like it or not, um, the uh, Holy Father himself has confirmed that the DDW uh, does actually have the authority uh, to say, hey, no, you need to run this by Rome first. In a brief rescript published in the Daily Bulletin, the Vatican reiterated that the Dicastery for Divine Worship and Discipline of the Sacraments was first given the authority to reimpose restrictions on the Latin Mass uh, in the Pope's July 2021 law, Traditionis Custodis, which was later reconfirmed in December of 2021 when the Vatican published a response or dubia on how the new law was to be applied. In his original July 2021 law, Francis declared that approved groups who use the traditional Latin Mass can no longer use regular parishes for their Masses, and that instead bishops must find an alternative location for them subject to the Vatican's approval. And, and let me just stop there. Some people are wondering, you know, why, why did he even do this? Again, to kind of reiterate, although I've done shows fully devoted to the question of traditionis custodis, but just to recap, one of the concerns that Pope Francis has is not with the Latin Mass itself, as it's, again, erroneously called the Missile of 62. Um, it, the concern isn't so much with that as much as it is how it has been become weaponized and people are using it to dissent from the magisterium. That's what Pope Francis himself says whenever he issued Traditionis Custodis. That's the main reason for why he issued it. Now, I think that we can say... Even though we under we we can certainly say, you know, I understand that the, that's a legitimate concern, and that group of people who are weaponizing the missile of sixty two certainly need to be uh, disciplined and reined in. Um, however, was this the best approach? That's where I think that we can offer some um, some constructive criticism of the Holy See's disciplinary decision here. I think we can question whether or not that has been the best approach to deal with a legitimate problem, because there are some people who do not weaponize the missile of 62 and find it very beneficial, and yet they have to suffer because of others. So is there maybe a better way to handle this? I'm of the opinion that perhaps there is a better way to handle this. So I understand where Pope Francis is coming with Traditionis Custodis. It's certainly within his authority. But just from where I stand, it seems like, you know, there's some people who are impacted by this decision that really don't deserve to be impacted. And that legitimate concern of Pope Francis can be addressed through other measures. But that's just my opinion. Um, that's my Canon 212 constructive criticism, if you will. Um, but ultimately it's up to the Holy Father to the, determine these things. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button. God bless.